Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how to use Next.js image component and how to create a placeholder blur for static and dynamic images. Let's get right into it. So here we have an empty Next.js project. All I did was to remove the boilerplate that comes when you just install a new project. So if we go and run npm run dev, all we're going to have is an empty page like this. I also import some images to my public folder that we're going to use to practice the static rendering. And we're going to start with that. First, I'll create, or first, I'll import my image component here on top. Import it from next image. And now I can show you how it works with an URL first. So first, we need to add a source. So if you work directly with a URL, you need to specify width and height. So if I go here and I refresh, it probably show me an error. And that's because the width is required and also height is required when you're working with an URL. So you specify width here, let's say 400. I'll do height, same thing. And now if I go, this is how it looks. Something else I want to show you here is just for you to understand how powerful this component is. These All these images are an average of over one megabyte. But here I select the image, you can see that the image that is actually rendered is only 52 kilobytes. Without us doing anything extra, this component is already looking for the high performance. But now if you import the image statically, like import donut from public donut PNG, and I replace it here. I don't need to specify width and height because when you import it this way, Next.js is going to infer the original width and height. So if I go back here, it's not complaining. And again, is rendering a high performance image, only 75 kilobytes. Cool. Another way you can specify the width and height or the dimensions of your image is by adding a wrapper. I personally prefer to work this way because I found div com components easier to manage than the image itself. And I also, since I want to, since I want to show you four images, I'll create another div and make it a grid. And here, this one will have a width full and a height of, let's say, 6px. Here, if I wanted to take the container size, I need to specify fill. Now, if I go here, as you can see, it's not doing what I want, and that's because I forgot to add, I mean, I on purpose forgot to add relative here, because it's something that most people forget about, and they get mad about the image component. But once you add it, everything is okay. You can make this, class and object cover and it thinks 800 is a lot let's make it 400 there you go now let's import the other images and to create a map and show you all the images i'll create an array i'll call it food and inside my grid i will start with my mapping And I will move this div inside the, the function. And of course, I don't want this to be always done it. I will replace it with item. And so that next year doesn't complain about it, I will add a key here using the index. And now if we go back, we have our four images. And here I want to show you how it works without having any placeholder. If I go to network and add some throttling here, maybe this uh, maybe a slow 3G. I re-render this. You can see that we don't we're not gonna have the, the layout shift, but the image or the place will the place will be empty until I have the full image loaded. So now if we go back, when you're working with static images, all you need to do is to add an extra line, say placeholder, blur, and that's it. And now if we go back. You're going to see the first, we have this low quality image. And as you can see, they're only one kilobyte. Then we're going to start showing the high quality ones. And just a caveat here, this doesn't work if you want to use directly the URL, let's say donut PNG. And I try to render this. Next.js will, will show me an error because it, you need to import the image statically to be in order to work with a placeholder blur. Now to work with dynamic images, I create a file here where I put some random links from Unsplash 
and this same method will work with images coming from a database, public images, everything. So first thing, we're going to import this. And I will replace food here by dynamic images. And of course, we don't want this to be done, but we want it to be item again. Cool. And now if we save this and we go back, we're going to have a first warning and it's about the placeholder blur. It's not as direct as working with the static images. We're going to need to add a new property called blur data URL. So for now, let's delete this line. And I want to show you another warning from Next.js. We go back and refresh this. And now this is talking about an, an invalid source that is source and splash.com. And to fix that, all we need to do is click here. And we're going to need to copy this and go back to our Next.js config. And here we're going to paste it. All we're going to need here is a protocol and host name. Actually, just host name, but we're going to leave protocol as well. And I will copy this to validate this host name. Save it. And now if I refresh this, I should have my dynamic links. There you go. But of course, these don't have any blur effect or placeholder. To make that work, we're going to need to install a new package. And that package is placeholder with an I with an I in the middle. So install this. Now we need to create a new function. I will create a folder called components. And I will name this get base64.dsx. Here we're going to use the placeholder in the meantime. And of course, here I will use our new package and I will get get placeholder from placeholder. And now what we need to do here is I will make this an asynchronous function. Then I will replace this. Let's use a try catch. And here what we need to do first is to create a response and we're going to wait, fetch the URL that will be coming as a prompt. And let me fix this really quick. I don't want to return this. I will put it here. And for now, I will remove this return. And after having a response, I will have a condition here just in case response is not okay. So but it's not okay, I will throw an error. And then once we have the response, I want to create a buffer. So I will create a, a new variable called buffer and I will wait res array buffer. And with that buffer, I will extract now a base 64. It will be equal to another await get placeholder. And here we're gonna use buffer from our variable buffer that we just create. Awesome. And now all we need to do is to return this base 64. And we save this and then I go back to here. And of course I will import get base 64. I will need to make this an asynchronous function because base 64 is an asynchronous function. So before our image, we're going to need to create the blur data. I will call this blur data equal weight get 64, the new function that we just create. And we're going to pass the URL. And actually, this should be inside my map, of course. And this is the function that needs to be an asynchronous function. And I don't think this one needs to be asynchronous. Cool. And URL is actually item. Actually, URL was a better name, but yeah, what can you do? And so here we can change this to item. Place it here as well. Save this. My bad, my bad. This should be just item string. Sorry, quick fix. And now we're back here um, and now I can add a placeholder blur. And now the other property that was missing, we call it blur data. We save it. And now if we go back and refresh this 
and it's telling me that it needs another package called sharp and I forgot about adding that but it's another package that we need for this placeholder thing to work so all we need to do is to open our terminal again npm install sharp I need to run my terminal again And now I have my images with the blur effect. If I throttle these again, slow to yes, I refresh. I have the same effect that I had before, but now with dynamic images. Awesome. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you find it really helpful. And I'm planning to upload more videos about Next.js and front-end development in general. If you'd like to learn more about that, follow me and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.